Yo, what is going on? My name is Jack. If you guys want to learn what you just saw in the beginning, be sure to watch to the end and leave a comment if you enjoyed it. Also, if you would like to support me, consider using code YOJACK in the Fortnite item shop. And without further ado, let's just get started. Alright, so you want to find the part where you um, pull out the sniper just before it. So, right over here. And then you could trim this part. You could also deattach the audio if you'd like, it's gonna make it much better when you uh, add velocity to it but for this tutorial I won't really show you so I'm just gonna mute this audio just so it's not distracting you and you wanna find the part where it zooms in but right here you just wanna add a cut and then go to the end where it's gonna scope out just right over here go back a few frames and cut it you wanna copy this and paste it on the above track Alright, so once you dragged it, you just want to go to the effects, you want to go to utility and click the image mask, drag that on it, double tap it, go to the video, scroll the way down, video effects. You also want to turn this preview off so you can see what you're doing. I'm going to change this so it fits the scope size and then feather it out. And then you could click this eye icon. Next, you want to double tap the footage, go to animation, click add, skip like a few frames, it doesn't really matter, it's your preference. You want to scale this down and then uh, rotate it to like, 10 degrees for example. You want to go like to the end a little bit, add and then uh, reset it. Uh, make sure this is dragged all the way. And you want to do the same thing, but make it this time uh, larger. So we're going to add the scale and make it much larger. And then we're going to rotate it negative 10 degrees. You want to skip over here, click add. Uh, just click this button over here. Drag it all the way. And it should look something like this so far. Uh, you could change this up to your preference. Uh, and then after you have done the main thing, you just want to go to the effects, there's a bayonet. You can change this up to your preference, I'm just going to make the alpha 82. And then you want to search up for glow. Drag this on top, go to the video, and then you want to scroll down, change the radius to zero. Keep in mind you could do whatever you want with these settings, it's up to you, but that's how I like to do it. And then you could download this, it's an optional thing, it's going to be down in the description. You just want to cut it. And uh, click on this bottom clip, change the blending mode in the composition setting to overlay. Which is going to have this cool effect. And then for the flow of, the, of this effect, you could go to the effect one more time. There's a narrow. You just want to have this like really, really like small, just like that. And then also you want to copy this and paste it over here. Just so it has like a nice flow, you know, it zooms in and zooms out. And then you want to go to the uh, filters and shake. Get the extreme, just drag it over like that. The, these are my settings if you want to copy them. Also, add the up and down, just have it like over here. Trim it, remove RGB, make the X all the way down. And then drag the second part and just change the position of X to zero. Remove RGB, lower the frequency a little bit and uh, the Y. It's going to have a nice shake to it. For my color correction settings, uh, just scroll down to the LUTs. And I used the teal and orange and also the cold harsh. So you're going to drag this all the way. And cold harsh as well. I'll just add some velocity to it to remap it. And I did a tutorial on that. If you want to go check it out, it'll be down in the description. One more quick thing I'd like to show you um, is uh, you just want to copy this. Paste it over here, just like that. Okay, and then you want to double tap this, go to the color, and go to advanced, 
and all presets you want to click customize now if you don't have any i did a tutorial on how you can make some of these and i'm just gonna go with the bluish um color correction that i made and to make it blend in you could uh, just go over here double we'll tap this go to animation make the opacity to zero and it's gonna reset just like that and then uh, at the end you can make it also to zero if you want and you could extend it a tiny bit you know if you'd like and now it's gonna add like this cool color correction on the actual scope and that is it i hope you guys did enjoy if you guys have any questions leave them down below in the comment section and as always have a wonderful day